as the Trinidad and Tobago Volleyball Federation's tournament came to a close last night at the Jean Pierre Complex. First up was the B Division Finals, and the Glamorgan Volleyball Club was full of expectation as both their men and women's teams reached the gold medal match. In this Chiwale Bartholomew Prepared Report, the Glamorgan ladies made it look easy, but the men were in a battle in a battle royale. The young ladies of the West Side trendsetters had to fight and claw their way to reach the final in the B Division, only to find the hard-hitting Glamorgan ladies laying in wait. The first set was virtually one-way traffic in favor of Glamorgan, as the trendsetters found it tough to get things on track, though they got themselves a lucky break here from Glamorgan. However, they could not stop the inevitable, as the Glamorgan lasses went on to take the first set 25-12. The start of the second set saw the West Side girls stepping up to the challenge to keep the scores close, claiming the point at the end of this rally to pull themselves within one. They would then proceed to tie up the scores at seven with the very next play. However, Glamorgan would find another game as Kayla Castillo picked up her spot from this point to Glamorgan. Glamorgan would then hammer Westside with service like this one from Jordana Simon, taking full control of the match from here and they would eventually come away with the second set 25-15 and the title in the women's B division. Trying to emulate their female counterparts, the Glamorgan men took to the court against the Dark Horse Central Warriors and they would jump out to an early 7-1 lead as the men in green looked out of sorts. Glamorgan took full control of this game as they increased their lead to 18-6 and had it working like a well-oiled machine. It was at this point that the giant killers awoke and went to work led by that big number 10 role Alexis. The Warriors would dry up the Glamorgan scoring while they chipped away to get themselves back in the game with cheeky and tactical plays like this, forcing the error from Glamorgan. They would eventually catch and pass Glamorgan here and Lenroy Changlup with the block to hand the Warriors a 19-18 advantage. They would continue to press for the set and force Glamorgan coach to call timeout to talk things over on more than one occasion. That hardly worked as the Warriors went on to take the first set 25-23, leaving Glamorgan in utter disbelief. In the second set, Roll Alexis would continue where he left off in the first as he took the early points off the Morgan with his service game. The Morgan though were not about to lay down and die just yet as uh, Joelani Austin wins the one point against the Warriors defense. However, the Warriors would continue to pack on the points and increase their lead. Patterson beating the block trap to come up trumps. It was all downhill for Glamorgan from here, and at match point, Glamorgan failed to hit the target and gifted the Warriors the point and the match, as well as bragging rights as the B Division champion. <laughs>